Please welcome Executive Vice President, Experiences and Devices, Rajesh Shah. Thank you. Thank you. It's fantastic to be here at Ignite with you all. In my over 30 years at Microsoft, I've had the privilege to work on building some of the most amazing products and services. And across all that time, working on Office, working on our on-premises servers, and leading our move to the cloud with Microsoft 365, I've never been more excited or optimistic for what we can do. Grounded in our mission as we enter a new age of AI that will fundamentally transform productivity for every individual, every organization, industry, and earth. It is incredibly exciting. Now, you heard Satya talk about the Copilot stack, the AI architecture of the future. Now, we are focused on bringing that AI stack to Microsoft products that hundreds of millions of people use every single day. Now, when I started in the industry three decades ago, that yeah, was a long time ago, graphical user interface was democratizing computing by making it accessible to people around the globe. Millions and millions of people started to be able to use computing. And AI is even more accessible and it's even more powerful. And so working with you, we can transform the way work is done in society, letting people use natural language to do their work. So the Copilot for Microsoft 365, it's a complete system. Of course, at its heart, there are some of the most powerful models outside, delivered out of Azure OpenAI with a full safety delivered to the Azure cloud. But more than that, it's about grounding this AI in the user's context. What do they work on? Who do they work with? their meetings, their conversations, their documents, their emails, and bringing all of this to bear in the apps that people use every day. Now, Jared is going to come up and share and show a lot of Copilot. But before we do that, let's spend a little time talking about the Microsoft Graph. And I also want to share some announcements across our apps, since these are foundational elements. Let's talk more about the Microsoft Graph. This is perhaps the most important database for any organization. This is your data, and it powers a copilot. The graph grounds the AI in the user's context, in their organization's context. Now, the spirit of the Microsoft Copilot is really about advancing the human agency, putting the human at the center, and being grounded in their context. Our vision's not that of an autopilot. It's really about letting people achieve more by having the AI work on their behalf, being grounded in their context, their permissions. And this is the key that differentiates Copilot and Microsoft 365 from other generative AI tools. I'm frequently asked by customers, how does my team get ready for Copilot? Now, one part of the answer is simple. Because your organization has invested in Microsoft 365, we have already built your Microsoft Graph. And so the time to value here with Copilot in Microsoft 365, it's in weeks, not months and years. Now, Satya talked about this. The Microsoft Graph is extensible, allowing you to augment the graph that we are building with your data from other systems, your ERP, your CRM, or any of your other critical business data. A copilot can be extended by developers by building plugins or the recently announced OpenAI GPTs. Now, we are seeing leading ISVs and enterprise customers, enterprise developers extend the copilot in unique and innovative ways. For example, Atlassian's Jira Cloud uses copilot to provide quick updates on tickets. And RAMP allows financial service professionals to get information in the flow of work. Miro is using Copilot to streamline visual collaboration. And customers like Ernst Young have built Copilot plugins to allow their executives 
in their tax practice to quickly gather revenue data. It is an exciting time to watch this ecosystem thrive and grow. So we talked about the Microsoft graph. Now switching gears, let's talk about the apps that people use every day. Now I want to spend some time highlighting what I think are some of the key announcements at Ignite for the IT pros, and I'll break it into three areas. Windows, Office and the core apps, and then Microsoft Teams. First, Windows. Now, we've been working hard to bring Windows to the cloud with Windows 365. And I'm proud to say that Windows 365 has been adopted by over 60% of the Fortune 500 companies. Now, we recently released Windows 365 Boot. It's a seamless way to allow people to get straight to work with Windows 365 by booting directly to your cloud PC on Windows 11 devices. Now, we also know that in any given month, over 100 million people are accessing Windows as a remote desktop from a variety of devices and operating systems, 100 million. Now, all those people can use Windows app, the new Windows app, to connect to Windows 365, Azure Virtual Desktop, and a wide range of other services all through that one unified app. You click the app, and you're taken straight to Windows in the cloud. This Windows app is now available in public preview on any platform. Today, we are also announcing that Windows 365 GPU support is now coming with 16 core configurations, makes Windows 365 ideal for high-capacity workloads such as graphics design, video rendering, and 3D modeling. Now, whether you're using Windows on a Surface or an OEM PC or even on an iPad or in the cloud, Copilot is being integrated into Windows. And this allows you to give your employees secure access to generative AI capabilities when they are logged in with Entry-ID without worrying about data leakage. Let's talk Surface. For over 10 years, Surface has delivered innovative form factors, new interaction models. We recently announced four new Surface devices built to bring AI experiences from Microsoft to life. We have focused on your feedback in delivering more performance, improved security, manageability, and repairability. From the new Surface Laptop Studio 2, our most powerful, our most versatile laptop, to the new Surface Go 4, built for productivity and security for frontline workers, we have the devices to support the need of diverse commercial customers. Very excited about Surface Hub 3. It's the premier collaboration device. It now runs Microsoft Teams Room Experience. It has enhanced manageability, unlocks new ways for collaboration. It can run in the portrait mode. The whiteboard now has Copilot built in. Amazing stuff. Now let's move to our core apps and services. And let's start with SharePoint Premium. SharePoint, as you know, is the leading, most flexible content platform powering experiences across Microsoft 365. Continues to grow faster than ever. Today, we are excited to announce SharePoint Premium, the best way to manage and ground content for Copilot so your organization can transform the entire content processes and knowledge management on top of SharePoint. I also want to talk about Microsoft Loop. It's an app that was built for a new way of work. It's a revolutionary canvas, seamless collaboration between people and AI. With flexible workspaces, you can take components and you can stay in sync across the entire Microsoft 365 suite by taking Loop components and putting that into Teams or Outlook. Loop is now generally available for Microsoft 365 commercial customers. And of course, Satya talked about the Copilot Studio an end-to-end -end conversational AI platform tool that allows you to extend Microsoft Copilot to meet your organization's specific needs. You can also use Copilot Studio to create and customize Copilot, not just for Microsoft 365, but you can also build your own internal Copilots. You'll see a lot more of Loop and Copilot Studio later in the keynote. But let me first talk about Teams. When it comes to Teams, the usage continues to grow with more than 320 million monthly active users. And as Satya mentioned, we have recently introduced the new Teams app that tens of millions of people are already using it. 
We reimagined it from the ground up to be faster and simpler and smarter. So the new app's now available, available both for Windows and Mac. It's up to two times faster while using 50% less memory. And we built in the features that we know are important to you, such as support for collaboration across tenants and support for multiple accounts. I'm also proud to share that the Teams Premium, which we launched just nine months ago, is now serving over 10,000 paid customers. And one of the features that customers love is the Intelligent Meeting Recap, which helps you catch up on the meetings that you miss by providing a summary of the key points, the key action items, the key decisions. And it gets even better when you use it with Copilot, because now the Copilot can be asked specific questions about the meeting, and you can get clear answers. Now, I'm excited to announce that we are integrating this intelligent meeting recap into Copilot, making it available to more customers, whether you start with Teams Premium or you start with Copilot. Satya talked about Mesh. Very, very excited that Mesh is going to be generally available in Jan January 2024. It's available in preview today. So with that, you, Teams commercial customers will be able to easily join an immersive experience in any Teams meeting right from the view switcher. Satya talked about how Mesh is also a tool that allows you to create immersive events, really immersive events in Teams Premium without doing any coding. You can customize 3D spaces with images, videos, screen share. You can save them as a template. You can share that. You can also host Q&A sessions with attendees. People can raise their hands. It can be seen and heard by everyone. Now, switching back to Copilot, and before I hand it to Jared, Copilot for Microsoft 365 is built on top of Microsoft's current commitments to data security and privacy in the enterprise. There is no change to these commitments, including, so anything that the Copilot does is in compliance with GDPR and EU data boundary commitments we've made. Of course, none of the Copilot data is used to train LLMs, and Microsoft does not have access to any of that data. But beyond that, the Copilot in Microsoft 365, it supports sensitivity labels. It understands conditional access policies. It respects information barrier business rules. It supports e-discovery. It supports the retention policies that you define. It generates audit logs and much more. It is enterprise grade. Now, one feedback we heard from you in the preview phase as we did the Copilot preview is that Customers have scenarios. You have scenarios where you want to use the Copilot in Teams meetings, but you do not want to necessarily be able to record or transcribe meetings due to data retention policies. We heard you. So in response to that feedback, I'm happy to announce that the Copilot can now be used during a meeting without retaining the transcript. So admins can now give meeting organizers the ability to set their preference. So before the meeting starts, allowing you to ask the Copilot questions during the meeting and ensuring that no transcripts or Copilot interactions are retained after the meeting. Privacy, security, transparency, they aren't just features. They are prerequisites, and we take them very seriously. Now I want to hand things over to Jared Spataro to share more on our Copilot announcements. But before I do, Let's see the Copilot in action with Densu, a global network of marketing and advertising agencies. Let's roll the video. Densu Creative's mission is all about enabling modern creativity, powered by data, tech, and AI. One of the biggest challenges today for clients and marketers is they've got to create more content than ever on an ever-growing number of channels. Copilot is really revolutionizing our creative workflow. Typically, with a client, we would come up with ideas and we'd go away and maybe days, weeks, even months later, we'd come back with creative visualizations. With Copilot, we can actually do that while we're in the room with the client. Copilot is able to plug it into our own custom applications called Digital Interact. We have literally hundreds of thousands of assets. We can now search with more natural language all within Teams right in the heart of our workflow. 
of the key activities and time-saving things Copilot does for me is translating initial key messages into a first draft. That is saving at least 30 to 60 minutes of my time. Now, we're a 72,000 person organization. It's a huge resource savings. It enables our people to get back to what they're brilliant at, driving the storytelling within brands. Now I've used Copilot, I can't imagine a world without it. It is just a necessary tool for me day to day and I depend on it. Well, good morning, everyone. Good morning. Thank you again so much for being here at Ignite. It's great to be back in person. Let's talk co-pilot, shall we? As Satya said, Microsoft is the co-pilot company. And there will be one co-pilot experience that runs across all our surfaces. Understanding your context on the web, on your PC, and when you're at work. To bring the right skills to you when you need them across work and life. You know, Copilot really broke the mold of how we design and build products here at Microsoft. And the customer excitement and demand has been unlike anything we have ever seen or experienced. And on November 1st, we made Copilot for Microsoft 365 generally available to enterprise customers. From introduction to general availability in just eight months. It is truly unprecedented. And customers are already starting to bet on Copilot. KPMG is a Copilot company. BP is a Copilot company. Visa is a Copilot company. Pfizer, Honda, Dow, they are all Copilot companies. And Accenture is all in on Copilot. With the largest commitment to date across Copilot for Microsoft 365 and GitHub. Copilot. Every customer I talk to about Copilot, and I've talked to a lot over the course of the last eight months, has just one question. Jared, is Copilot worth it? After months of intensive research, I'm excited to share new work trend index data out today. We conducted quantitative and qualitative research from surveys to empirical studies to really get in and understand the impact of Copilot among our early users. And here's the headline. Copilot makes people more productive and more creative. In fact, 77% of people who use Copilot told us that they just don't want to go back to working without it. Here are some more stats for you. 70% said that they were more productive. 68% felt it improved the quality of their work. 64% spent less time processing email. 75% spent less time searching for information in files. 71% saved time on mundane tasks. And we didn't just take their word for it. Based on quantitative research studies, we found that overall, users of Copilot were nearly 30% faster on a specific raft of IW tasks, 30% faster. And they caught up on missed meetings nearly four times faster than those who didn't have Copilot. We even ask employees if they'd rather have access to Copilot or a free weekly lunch. 77% chose Copilot. And finally, my very favorite finding the best Copilot users save more than 10 hours per month using Copilot. Just think about what you would do with an extra 10 hours each month. Now, all this is after using Copilot for just a short time. It's only going to get better from here. To be clear, Copilot is not perfect by any means. Those of you who are using it see it do amazing things, but it also makes mistakes. It's getting better, though, every day, delighting us with flashes of brilliance and inspiration. And if the start is any indication of what is to come, it's clear that the age of Copilots has arrived. Let's take a look. Straight to the top, never going down, don't wait for the drop. Never stand still, that's the motto, yeah. Brand new bands for the auto, oh. Foot to the ground, full throttle. Big energy for the night, like lotto. Y'all talk lots, never disquiet. Life like a Seinfeld plot. Mm. Ball full of songs, all of them bombs. Something like a minefield guy, boom. Get it, get it, tickets running out quick. Bet it, bet it, never get it 
it out big. Said it, said it, never had a shout it. They said I couldn't ever do it, okay, how's it? Fit a week worth of work in a minute. Machine well oiled, you know how I stay efficient. To do this written, I do this different. Hold up, wait a minute, I ain't finished. Okay. Look, flows the same, the same, the same, the same now. Paved the way the snakes and fakes are chased out. Back to back to back, I changed the pace now. Had to stack the cash until the bank's out. Straight to the top, never gone down, don't wait for the drop. All right, are you ready for that? We've been innovating faster than ever before to bring Copilot to our entire product portfolio. But we have heard your feedback on a number of things. It can sometimes be hard to make sense of everything that we have announced and released so quickly. And let's be honest, simplicity and naming, well, they haven't always been our strong suit. Anyone else remember Windows XP 64-bit edition for 64-bit extended systems just rolls off the tongue. <laughs> so let me take a moment to walk through the product lineup. It all starts with Microsoft Copilot, your everyday AI companion across work and life. As Satya mentioned, Bing Chat has simply become Copilot. Now, Copilot has foundational capabilities, like the ability to answer questions, to create content, to reason over data. And it has web grounding, so it always has access to the latest information. Now here, there's one other notable thing that I want to highlight. Just as you've heard before, but I just want to make sure that you understand how it happens, when you sign into Copilot, Microsoft Copilot, with your Entra ID, commercial data protection is automatically activated. That means that you can use Copilot at work knowing that your business data is always protected. With commercial data protection, Chat data isn't saved, Microsoft has no eyes on access, and your data is never used to train the models. And everything you see here is free, free for commercial and consumer customers. Now, let's take a look at Copilot for Microsoft 365. It includes those same foundational capabilities and web grounding. It has the same commercial data protection promises. But Copilot for Microsoft 365 takes it a step further. Like Rajesh said, Copilot for M365 is enterprise grade. It inherits your existing M365 security, privacy, identity, and compliance policies. Your data is logically isolated and protected within your M365 tenant, and you are always in control. Copilot doesn't change any of our data residency or data handling promises. And Copilot acts on behalf of an individual user, so it can't access information that you don't have permission to see. But what makes Copilot for M365 so different, as you've heard already, is that Microsoft graph. It has access to your entire universe of data at work. And of course, it's integrated into the M365 apps that millions of people use every day. And it's this combination, this amazing combination of the graph on one hand and the apps on another that makes M365 Copilot such a powerful AI assistant at work. All right, now that we've gone through the product lineup, let's just take a look at what that looks like in the product experience. To fire up Copilot, you just simply go to copilot.microsoft.com. Here, as you've heard, you can shop, code, analyze, create, plan trips, and more. And when you sign in with your Entra ID, commercial data protection is on, automatically activated. Remember, that means chat data isn't saved, Microsoft has no eyes on access, your data isn't used to train the models. Now, on the Copilot from Microsoft 365. To do that, you just switch the toggle from web to work. Now, let me tell you, this Copilot experience has completely changed the way I work. And one task that I now delegate to Copilot is just figuring out where to start my day. With a simple prompt, you can get an overview of where you're mentioned to see what projects need your attention. And in this case, three things to prioritize. It combs across your business data to give you a summary organized by emails and chats and suggests what to prioritize. And of course, like all the interfaces, it includes citations so you can quickly verify and cross-reference those results. And now, we've integrated Copilot right into Windows. So each of the Copilot product experiences you just saw is also available to you right from your Windows taskbar. Magic. 
All right. We are really, really excited about what we just shipped on November 1st. But the great news is we're not stopping there. There is so much more to come. So let me hand it over to my very good friend, Sumit, to show you what we mean. Sumit. Thank you, Jared. I am, you know, I'm so excited to tell you about two areas where we are working to make Copilot even better. The first is personalization. And earlier, you heard Rajesh talk about the graph, which is so critical in delivering these kinds of experiences. And the response from early users to Copilot has been nothing short of amazing. But they want Copilot to be more personalized, to know how they write their emails, who they work with, and how they like to receive information. And we are excited to introduce new capabilities to help Copilot really know and remember these important personal details. Let's start by imagining you work for a retailer and you are preparing for a business review. You need to gather the latest sales results from stores in the Northwest region, and there's an email on the topic. You use Copilot to draft a reply. And now what Copilot does, it analyzes your previously sent emails to really understand your unique style and tone. And then it will take that and apply it to the email so it really sounds like you. Now, let's say the team needs to meet on this topic. Copilot can help there, too, based on all your recent work and updates, starting with the name of the meeting. And because Copilot understands the context of your meeting, it can accurately suggest which colleagues to invite. It's really acting as your personal assistant, quickly finding a date and time that works for everyone. And it can even book a conference room for those in the office. It doesn't stop there. Copilot will also suggest relevant files to share as a pre-read based on its understanding of what you are going to be talking about. And because it has all the context about why you're meeting, it generates a customized agenda to help you get what you want out of the conversation. OK. Yeah, you're really ready for that meeting. <laughs> um, we're giving you more control to ensure every co-pilot interaction includes tailored responses based on your unique preferences. For example, in Word, here you can specify details about your job, your personal preferences, or maybe the fact that you, know, you prefer graphs over tables or you like bullets instead of paragraphs. And the thing is, these, per, these preferences will follow you across all your core Microsoft 365 apps. So personalized experiences are going to show up wherever you go. Now, let's say you're pulling together a quarterly business update. You want to include the latest quarterly business results, but maybe it's buried in a coworker's PowerPoint presentation somewhere. But with just a simple and generic prompt, Copilot understands which coworker and which deck you're thinking of. It finds it, it summarizes it, all without leaving your document. There you go. All the content you're looking for. And the personalization doesn't stop there. It's even delivered just the way you like it. A bulleted list with the financial details in a graph. Now, Copilot can also help you ensure that everything you create is customized to your organization. Let's say you need to edit a slide for this presentation. Copilot can now pull in images from your brand or corporate image library. And soon, thanks to Microsoft Designer, 
you can use DALI 3 to combine your corporate assets to fit your creative vision. So that great idea that's sitting in your head comes to life in seconds. No photo shoot required. That yeah, that's pretty powerful stuff. So what Copilot did was it pulled an image from your brand library, and with a simple prompt, you were able to customize it to be exactly what you needed. In September, we introduced Copilot Lab to help everyone build new habits to get the most out of Copilot directly within Microsoft 365 apps. And every user of Copilot for Microsoft 365 has access to Copilot Lab today. You can easily discover prompts, write in the flow of work, and learn how to turn a good prompt into a great one. We've learned from early users that there is a viral aspect to Copilot. Giving it to one person is not as impactful as giving it to the entire team. And Copilot Lab is where you'll connect with coworkers to save, share your favorite prompts, and get inspired as you all learn to work together in this whole new way. Let's move on to the second theme, math. Now, everyone knows LLMs are notoriously bad at math. There are some hard problems to solve when it comes to LLMs and numbers. And we've got some of the world's brightest engineering minds working to tackle just that challenge. And we made phenomenal progress with Excel. In March, we taught Copilot how to speak Excel, which essentially means Copilot can generate formulas. And it also means that Copilot can do math, and it can do it pretty well. Let's say you're a buyer for the outdoor clothing division, and you'd like to know the top selling rain gear products. Copilot taps into your historical sales data, clearly highlighting the top sellers in green. Now, let's say you will want to compare the monthly sales data over time. But to do that well, you really need a pivot table. And Copilot can easily create a pivot table to add to your workbook, summarizing the rain gear sales. Now you're curious, how did rainfall in the region over the last three years affect sales in that time period? Ask Copilot to find the rainfall data on the web, add it to your worksheet. But we didn't stop there. We taught Excel how to execute Python code. And then we taught Copilot how to speak Python. And now, with natural language, you can do remarkable things. In order to work with the sales and rain data, we've created two data frames using Python and Excel. Now, we simply asked Copilot to combine these data sets, and Copilot knows when to use Python and Excel, and it writes the code for you. It even explains the formula it uses. You don't need to be a data analyst to be able to tell a compelling story with these numbers. Next, simply ask Copilot to visualize the relationship between the data. Here, it uses advanced analytics to create multiple plots so you can see the trends and make better decisions. Just look at these rich visuals. With Copilot and Python in Excel, anyone can create these complex graphics with a simple prompt. Jared touched on how Copilot has changed how we design and build products at Microsoft. The feedback loop between customers and product makers has never been tighter. It's enabling us to quickly take what we are learning from our customers and pour it right back into product development faster than ever before. And we are so excited to see what you do with it. Back to you, Jared. Thank you, Sumit. Thank you very much.
coming fast and furious. Now, Sumit shared how we're improving Copilot with investments in two areas. Again, personalization and math, really amazing. I'd like to take a moment now to show you a third. Up to this point, we've talked about how Copilot is your Copilot. So it knows you, it knows your data, your content, and your context. It is personalized to you. But what happens when Copilot becomes a full participant in your work? When it joins your meetings, when it participates in your brainstorms, when it contributes to the conversation. When you give Copilot a seat at the table, it goes beyond being your personal assistant to assisting the entire team. Copilot will facilitate human interaction and the exchange of ideas in ways that we've never experienced before. Now, customers already tell us that Copilot is changing meetings for the better, freeing people to be more present and engaged in the conversation. But now it can help the entire team get the most out of meetings. It's kind of like that well-organized colleague that takes detailed notes, tracks decisions and action items, and helps steer the conversation. Let me show you. Now in Teams meetings, Copilot can take comprehensive real-time notes that the whole team can see, letting everyone focus on working together. It pulls information and tasks and summarizes next steps while the meeting is in progress. And when Copilot doesn't quite get it right, or it misses something that you think is important, you can steer it in the right direction and keep everyone focused on what matters most. Copilot is truly transformational as an AI-powered assistant in meetings, but man, it gets even better at as a collaborative partner with Whiteboard. Copilot is already great at summarizing what has been discussed in a meeting, and it can now visualize the ideas talked about in your meeting on a digital whiteboard. It can categorize, sort, and even give you new ideas, adding to the energy of the conversation. Copilot can also generate a detailed summary of the whiteboard to share out. Anyone in the meeting, remote or in person, can add ideas to the mix. And of course, the Surface Hub 3 shipping next month can bring employees together no matter where they are. Now from whiteboard over to Loop. Rajesh showed you some of what Loop can do, but let's take a closer look. Loop is your flexible AI-powered collaboration canvas. It really is the first app that we've designed from the ground up for collaboration. It updates in real time, so you can collaborate no matter where you or your teammates are working. So as your project evolves, you'll just always be in sync. And it gets even better with Copilot. Loop's workspace status is like a dashboard, tapping into the collective knowledge of your team to help you stay two steps ahead. It allows you to track the work that the team has done, it even flags important information like upcoming deadlines to help you know where you should focus. Now, in Loop, Copilot isn't just your Copilot, but it can help the whole team create together. You can give it instructions, and so can your colleagues. And everyone can see and build on each other's prompts, brainstorming together to find the best solution. Copilot helps make sense of it all, helping your team get to a result that you never would have thought of without it. Now, I think it's worth pausing there for a second. What you just saw is people working with people working with Copilot. And this really is a brand new pattern for work, an entirely new way of working together. All right, let's switch gears. You heard Rajesh talk about the Copilot's ability to tap into the wealth of information that is in the Microsoft graph. But let's face it, not all your data lives in the Microsoft graph within Copilot's reach. So what if, what if you were able to give Copilot access to truly all your data? Your CRM, your ERP, your finance, your HR systems. What if you could give Copilot the keys to unlock that treasure trove of data and information across every line of business? Well, now you can. I am thrilled to introduce you to Copilot Studio. Copilot Studio is a low-code tool that does three things. First, it allows you to connect Copilot to other data using either pre-built or custom plugins and GPTs. So that just means that you can tap into any system of record, including your custom line of business systems. Second, it enables you to create and orchestrate very sophisticated logic, essentially to create workflows. And third, you can manage it all so that IT always stays in control. Now, 
At this point, I hope you get what Copilot will mean to personal productivity. Check. But take a moment. There is a bigger opportunity here in front of us. We see an AI-powered business process re-engineering wave that will sweep over every organization in every industry. And it all starts today, right here. Let's take a look at how it actually works. It all starts with a prompt in Copilot. The orchestration layer looks for metadata triggers. For example, it can look for questions that would be best answered by your CRM system or your HR system. It then sends a query out to both the Microsoft Graph and the right system of record. It gathers the responses from both places, packages them up, and sends it over to the LLM. The LLM then reasons across the prompt and the additional information and produces a response that's like magic. Copilot Studio is the low-code tool that allows you to create plugins and GPTs using connectors and sophisticated logic. And get this. It comes with more than 1,100 pre-built connectors, from Adobe to SAP to Zendesk. But seeing is believing, so let's bring Kendra out to show you more. Kendra. Thanks so much, Jared. Hey, folks. Let's take a common example, travel budgets and expenses, a process that is unique to every organization. And here we are in Copilot chat. Now, you've seen Copilot quickly and easily summarize documents like this travel policy. But what if you wanted to know more, like how much of your team's travel budget is left for the rest of the quarter? Now, Copilot will find the information in the Microsoft Graph, but that's only going to get you so far, because the data you're looking for uh, is living in a system of record. Now, with Copilot Studio, you can customize your Copilot to access data from first and third party sources. Just, by start, just start by giving your topic a description for what you want it to do. In this case, providing richer details on expense questions. Copilot Studio allows you to tap into any data source, including websites, Azure services, and coming very soon, you can even access and use OpenAI's GPTs right from within the Copilot Studio. And with over 1,100 out of the box options to connect, you can steer your Copilot to the right information. In this case, SAP. Since the travel policy is on SharePoint, you can connect that too, so Copilot can keep track of any policy updates. As you can see, we're giving Copilot instructions to let the model know how to generate responses. And once you've completed your customization, you just hit publish. And the best part, IT only needs to build this once then it can be reused across the organization, and you can manage it all in one central place. Now let's go back to the chat to see how Copilot handles your question. You use the same prompt, and just like that, your new customized Copilot gives you the answer you were looking for. Now you know exactly how much budget is remaining, and thanks to the data you just connected, you also know that any new travel needs to be booked before December 30th to stay within policy. Now, I just want to pause here for a moment and recognize how amazing this is. With just a few clicks, you can bring the power of generative AI together with any data source you want and customize the responses, something that would have previously taken months happens in just minutes. The possibilities for what you can create here are truly limitless. Back to you, Jared. Thank you, Kendra. Thank you so much. Well done. Amazing stuff. We really are at the start of a business process re-engineering wave, and we believe that Copilot Studio will power it. Now, we want every customer to have this capability, so I am very pleased to take this moment to announce 
that Copilot Studio will be included in Copilot for Microsoft 365 at no additional cost. Copilot Studio is generally available today, and that integration you saw with Copilot for Microsoft 365 is available in public preview today, so you can get started immediately. We just showed you how you can customize Copilot Studio, can use Copilot Studio to customize Copilot for your organization, but there are functions that are core to nearly every organization. Those are things like sales, customer service, HR, and finance. And for those, we are creating role-specific Copilots so you don't have to start from scratch. Earlier this year, we introduced Copilot for sales. It's early days, but it's already making a difference for our own Microsoft salespeople. In some studies that we've recently run with them, 79% of those Microsoft sellers say Copilot for sales reduced their administrative workload. 68% said that they can keep their CRM up to date with less effort. 67% are able to spend more time with their customers and 64% said they can better personalize their customer engagements. That's gold. Copilot for Sales combines all the capabilities of Copilot for Microsoft 365 with seller-specific plugins and skills. And it meets salespeople where they are, right in the flow of work, including in Teams and in Outlook. Copilot for Sales works with any CRM system to enhance sales productivity, build stronger customer relationships, and ultimately help those salespeople to close more deals. And let me tell you, sales is just the beginning. Today, I'm excited to announce Copilot for Service. Now, we all know that customer service agents have a very hard job. They're on the front lines with customers every day, and they hear both the good and the bad. And what they do can make all the difference in keeping a customer or losing them. The experience they deliver, and in particular, how fast they can get the answers to solve a customer's problems, boy, that really, really matters. So I'm pleased to welcome Edgar to show you more. Thanks, Jerry. Thank you. Copilot for Service goes to work as soon as your customer reaches out for support. Looks like the tent she ordered arrived damaged, and she needs it for a camping trip this weekend. In seconds, Copilot gives you the right knowledge base articles from your CRM solution, which in this case is Salesforce. This lets you take action directly within Outlook. With Copilot, agents can give every customer personalized support. With the click of a button, Copilot drafts a response for the customer to resolve the issue. You can adjust the tone of the message to match the urgency and customize it. You can offer a meeting time and add or revise details that maybe Copilot didn't quite get right. On your customer calls, Copilot is also at the ready. It works wherever your agent does, including their agent desktop, and helps them answer customer questions in real time. It sources information from both internal and external sources like SharePoint and Salesforce to bring up a concise summary of what you need to know. And with all the questions answered, you can leave your customers feeling happy and well-informed. After the call, all you need to do is confirm the changes and send the shipment and delivery details for your order. Back over to you, Jared. Thank you, Edgar. When it comes to customer service, it's all about resolving problems quickly, improving customer satisfaction, and reducing case handling time so you can help that next customer. More than 11,000 customer service agents at Microsoft are already using Copilot for Service, and we are seeing great results, including a 12% reduction in average case handling time and a 10% boost in case resolutions that don't require talking to a peer. This is what we mean when we say Copilot will transform business process for every role and every function. Copilot for Service will be available in public preview next month and generally available early next year. The future of work clearly is AI-powered and data-driven, and Microsoft Viva is the measurement and transformation platform for the AI-powered high-performance organization. It allows you to iteratively improve performance using both qualitative and quantitative measures over time. And one place that we're already applying this data-backed approach is Copilot. Introducing the Microsoft Copilot dashboard powered by Viva. 
We want every organization to realize the full benefit of Copilot. And we're going to help across that entire, st- entire journey of transformation. That includes readiness, adoption, and measurement. First, every organization needs to get ready for Copilot, and we'll help you to understand who's eligible and what roles to prioritize. Second, we'll help you understand how adoption is progressing and help you get that usage intensity flywheel going. Now, we know from early users, this is a whole new way to work, and it takes commitment to form new habits and build the muscle. We'll help you understand how people are using Copilot across the apps, from meeting summaries to content creation. Third is measurement. You've seen a lot of great data today already on how Copilot is helping to improve productivity and creativity. And we're going to help every organization get that same level of insight, giving you qualitative and quantitative measures of impact of Copilot over time across every part of the organization. Get this, you'll be able to survey your employees to get their feedback and then compare those results against global benchmarks, helping you understand the favorability of Copilot across employees. We'll give you a view into changing work patterns and behaviors across key workflows. Things like meeting effectiveness, content creation, and email processing. You'll be able to see how work patterns differ by role, like managers and individual contributors, by function, and even between co-pilot users and non-users. This dashboard will start rolling out in preview to Microsoft 365 customers later this month. All right, that is our product lineup. Wow, we have covered a lot of ground here today. Before I hand it back to Rajesh to close, I want to bring us back to where we started with that one question. Is Copilot worth it? You've seen the product. You've seen the data. But what the data can't convey, and what I find to be most striking after personally using Copilot for 10 months on the job, is this sense of wonder and possibility with this product. It's the feeling of having an assistant that deeply understands you and understands your work. And every day, having one of those, man, I can't believe it can do that types of moments. The cool thing for me is that this new age of machines ultimately is going to make work more human, helping all of us to find more joy and fulfillment in the work we do. I am so excited for you to experience it for yourselves. Thank you. Now, back to Rajesh. Thank you, Jared. It's amazing to see the innovation in the news. There's just so much opportunity to empower individuals, reinvent business processes. But let me take it back to where Jared started, as I think this crystallizes the moment for me. 77% of the people who have Copilot don't want to go back to working without it. 77%. I joked in my intro about my tenure in the industry, 30 years, it's been a long time. I was reflecting recently on some of the similarities between now and then. When I started, people would line up at retailers to buy physical copies of Windows and Office. Yes, you used to be able to buy physical media. And as I reflect on where we are now, I don't recollect another time where there's been this amount of excitement and crucially potential for us all to work together and deliver on this moment, that is transforming productivity for individuals, organizations, and industries, every industry. When I see you at Ignite next time, I'm convinced there will be nobody that is going to be wanting to use any productivity tool that does not help our human agency with AI. So we can liberate people to do what humans can uniquely do, and put simply, just take the grind out of work. This is our opportunity, and we are proud to be your partner on this journey. I hope you enjoy day one keynotes. They have a great time at Microsoft Ignite. It's a wonderful opportunity to connect with experts in your communities. Let's close with bringing it back to people, and one of our customers, Bayer, a global leader in pharmaceuticals, over 160 years of innovation, and that continues today with their embrace of Copilot for Microsoft 365. But before the video, let me finish by simply saying thank you. Thank you for spending your time with us here at Ignite. Thank you for your partnership, your business, your feedback. 
But most importantly, thank you for the trust you place in us each and every day. Let's roll the video. Thank you. Every single day, we are helping farmers on the fields, we are helping to cure diseases, and we are helping our consumers get healthier. We really want to be at the forefront of innovation. Microsoft Copilot gives our employees more power, more freedom to focus on our mission, health for all and hunger for none. We actually experience that the employees can get to their information faster in our journey of generative AI. We have over 700 use cases across all divisions and functions, so we really see a big impact. Previously, it could easily take you days, if not weeks, to find that piece of information. Having the model store integrated into Microsoft Teams and Microsoft Copilot can immediately filter out models that are relevant. Last week, I received an email with five attachments, 20 to 50 pages each. Then I asked Copilot, give me a summary, and the summary saved me 45 minutes. It is great that we can leverage 150 years of data, making Gen.AI a really great possibility for creating value.